946 on Josh Henry's time. 16 946. Caleb Fulk, 16 560. Lap number one is concluded. Tanner English and Nick Yandel will join the fray here in just a moment. So both drivers staying put on lap number one, 15560 for Caleb Fulk, lap of record, fifth place. And Josh Henry, 16, 946 with a sixth place finish. Out of the six cars so far, Tanner English, Benton, Kentucky driver, car number 96, is making his way onto the racetrack. And once again, he'll be joined by Dennis Franklin in the two car out of Gaffney, South Carolina. Tanner English gasses it up and through turns one and two nice and smooth. The green flag is out for Dennis Franklin. Four-time Carolina class champion, 45 career wins. As Tanner English comes across with a fourth place run. Fourth place for Tanner English, 15 431. Dennis Franklin, 16 060. Tanner English across, start finish. He'll move, no, he'll stay put with a 15 181. I thought he was going to maybe get Jordan Kohler for third, but he stays fourth. Tanner English in fourth. And Dennis Franklin, 15 569, just behind David McCoy. We'll put him overall sixth place so far. Up next, it'll be last night's winner, Ben Watkins, car number 16. He'll be joined alongside of Christian Thomas, last night's Fast Time Award. Judy Yarborough Realty of Lake Norman, North Carolina, coming on board in 2023. Marking our Fast Time Award and a $100 bonus going to the driver who sets the fastest time. Ben Watkins raced from sixth place position last night to win the feature and claim the turkey's towing hard charger of the race. And that 10 additional bonus points was good enough to clinch him the championship. As Christian Thomas has come to the racetrack, car number 06 out of Wake Forest, North Carolina. Up around the Raleigh-Durham area, car number 06, the J.B. Sewell logging company machine. Down the left straight away goes Christian Thomas. So both of these drivers, winners last night, winners of the fast time, is the 06 car from last night. And today he's got a little bit of work to do. 486 on a 15-second lap for Christian Thomas. Ben Watkins will go third, 15-0-94. 15-0-94 on lap number two. Here's Christian Thomas. He will stay in the seventh spot with a 15-4-86. So Christian Thomas in seventh, Watkins to third, 15-0-94. Right behind Ethan Dodson in the 174. And Chris Madden, fast time so far of the race and the only car in the 14-second bracket with a 14.890, Chris Madden. Austin Kirkpatrick, car number 11, coming onto the speedway. Charlotte, North Carolina, Hills has his home now with David Yandel coming out with him in the Monroe, North Carolina. Carolina Clash regular campaigner, car number 03, David Yandel on track. Austin Kirkpatrick takes the green flag, his lap of record is underway in that AK race car number 11 through turns three and four brings it high and wide out of the corner down the front straight away takes the white flag does Kirkpatrick and he cracks the top 10 with a 15 863 ninth overall David Yanda will come across in 10 with a 16 479 Kirkpatrick sets it down bottom of turn number four slings it out high and wide coming down to the front straight away crossing start finish line staying home in ninth 15, 173, Austin Kirkpatrick's time with David Yandel crossing start finish, staying on lap number one, 16, 479. Austin Kirkpatrick, ninth, David Yandel in 10th. Coming up next, it'll be the double nickel race cars out of Mount Airy, North Carolina, Benji Hicks, and alongside of him, another one of those um, Hicks racing entries, car number 79, Donald McIntosh, having competed at Lancaster only one time prior to last night, came home with a second place finish at the half a mile in Lancaster, having led some of the first portions of that event before being taken over by Ben Watkins late in the race. Donald McIntosh in the Billy Hicks Racing, car number 79, will join Benji Hicks 
in the double nickel race cars, number 55 in qualifying. Brought to you by, once again, Judy Yarborough Realty of Lake Norman, North Carolina. Up next on the running order will be Trent Ivey, Gray Parton, followed by Zach Mitchell, Anthony Sanders, Adam Yarborough, and Dalton Wilson will round out the qualifying order. Dalton Wilson with pretty good run. Top five finish last night over in Lancaster, having led the race early. Shuffled around through the top five late in the race for a fourth place run. Dalton Wilson will be the final car to take time. Here's Benji Hicks, car number 55, winner at Livonia, Georgia, back in April of this season. Picked up his only Carolina Clash win of the year. And his third overall feature back at the Buck Simmons Memorial Race in Livonia, Georgia, back in April. Donald McIntosh, Billy Hicks Racing, looking for his first clash victory. Car number 79, who has many clash wins, does Billy Hicks. Not only as a Hall of Fame driver, but as a car owner as well. Billy Hicks in the 79. They've both taken the white flag. Here comes the checkered. Donald McIntosh with a 15-287, that's sixth place. Benji Hicks trying to move up the bank, but he won't. 15-5-18, ninth overall for him. Donald McIntosh in sixth, Benji Hicks in ninth, as next on the list will be Trent Ivey, Union, South Carolina driver, and then the Rutherford to North Carolina entry of Gray Parton in car number 18P. Trent Ivey in the 88, little head knocker. His uh, dad, Petey, has got a couple of wins with Carolina Clash back through the late 2000s or in early stages of the 24-year history of the Carolina Clash Super Late Model Series, which today celebrates its 400th all-time race as a racing series in North and South Carolina, Tennessee, Virginia, and Georgia. So race number 400 all time, gonna be taking the green here in the Blue Gray 100 in its final race of the 24th season. And Trent Ivey takes green flag as he's off engaged down the back straightaway with Ray Park in car number 18, out of turn number four. Little head knocker Trent Ivey gasses up to the start finish, white flag in the air, that's Trent Ivey. Outside of the top 10, 15, 5, 8, 0, 15, 5, 8, 0. Gray Pardon, solid top five run in lap number one. Top five run for Gray Pardon with a 15, 186. Trent Ivey up to eighth, 15, 282. Here comes Gray Pardon trying to improve his running order. He'll start from the fifth place position in his first heat race of the night, 15, 166 for a fifth place run with only a couple of more to go. We've got Zach Mitchell of NRE, South Carolina car number 57. Anthony Sanders will join them on the speedway. So two more groups of cars yet to qualify. Zach Mitchell, Anthony Sanders, and finally, it will be Adam Yarborough and Dalton Wilson. Carolina Clash brought to you financially in partnership support by the folks over at Hoosier Racing Tire and the American Racer Race Tire Company. BP Racing Fuels making power. Also want to thank Scott Childers at SCR, SRC, SEC, Grading and Utilities. I'll get it right in a minute. Scott, my apologies to you. As being our award for the Rookie of the Year, Turkey's Towing Company out of Blacksburg with the hard charger of each race, Penske Racing Shocks, Penske Racing Shocks with bonus money to the hard luck award given out to each race. Zach Mitchell coming across start finish. Having run second and will stay in second, but barely 19, oh, excuse me, 14, 943. 14, 943, and Anthony Sanders in the 42 with a 15, 866. So Zach Mitchell gave it all he had on lap number two, but comes up just a little bit short of the bank, and Chris Madden is so far with only two cars to go. Adam Yarborough, Dalton Wilson will finish it up here in the qualifying effort. Right now held down by Chris Madden, car number 44 with your fast time of the race. 14.890 is the time that Adam Yarborough will be shooting for. 
Had a very fast race car over at Lancaster last night for a top three podium finish after leading the early couple of laps of that event. Dalton Wilson before he took the race lead. And there is the first lap for Adam Yarborough. And he's got some work to do. 15 8, 82, 15 8, 82. Dalton Wilson, 15th, 15, 849, 15, 849. And Adam Yarborough comes across 15th, 15, 754. Dalton Wilson, last lap in qualifying, makes the top 10, 15, 5, 325, 15, 325 for Dalton Wilson. That will conclude qualifying here tonight. The 44 of Chris Madden takes the fast time at Cherokee with a 14.890. He'll start on the pole in heat race number one. And Zach Mitchell will go from the pole in heat race number two, 14, 943. Ethan Dotson was uh, third. Ben Watkins fourth. Jordan Kohler fifth. Gray Pardon was sixth. Tanner English was seventh. Donald McIntosh in eighth. Trent Ivey was ninth. And Dalton Wilson rounding out your top ten. As they scroll across the screen here, we want to thank everybody for being with us at the gorgeous, gorgeous uh, Sunday afternoon before Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone, and I hope you enjoy your Thanksgiving week and a great happy holiday season. Merry Christmas to every one of you, and Happy New Year as we look forward to season number 25 with the Carolina Clash next year. Race number 400 all-time getting ready to start here at Cherokee with the drop of the green flag. That will be the 400th all-time feature event under the Carolina Clash banner dating back to April of 2000. Lots to do here at Cherokee today. Lots of vendor trucks, lots of opportunities to get out and stroll around and meet your friends and talk about the good old days of racing both then, yesteryear, and now as we act in that spirit of gratitude for this week. Happy Thanksgiving once again on behalf of Carolina Clash and all of our staff. And we'll turn it back.